I don't really. Does Facebook have a dating option? Yeah, um, I think so. They got it all, man. I bet they do. Yeah, I think it's called yeah. Facebook Marketplace. I think you just take a photo of yourself on there and type in what kind of dinner you expect. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what the year 2022 brings. We will. Should all be a pile of laughs. Uh, do you guys want to do top movies, yeah. top games of the year? Looking back on 2021, that could be fun. Yeah. Or do you guys want to just chill out and chat for a minute? We haven't podcast yeah, in a while, so I don't know how fast. Let's do some movies. All right. I had a great mm. new uh, holiday film to recommend. Oh, great. Yeah. This is aside from your favorite film of 2021, right? Um, It was released this year. But is it But is it your favorite of the year? Best no. movie of the year? No, but I, yeah. Okay. No, I, still, I, I, still, I want to hear what it is. Like, maybe. maybe. I still, I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. Later. Okay. Gonna, you're being real cagey about more. this film. Um, <laughs> it was a great holiday film. What was it? It's called was it a holiday. It's called an eight bit Christmas. Ah, oh, now that's a good. Uh, one. I've that heard that. Patrick Harris. Yeah, I've yeah. heard people liked it. He's yeah. all he's all over the place now with him and, and yeah. that and the Matrix. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is. That's uh, that would bring me to. I think that's my favorite film of the year. It's the Matrix. The Matrix. Yeah. Whoa. No, really? Whoa. Can't tell if you're being we, serious right now. You saw love, it? I didn't love the story, but I enjoyed like watching it. <laughs> just just being there again. Going yeah. back to the world. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. only about halfway through, so I can't fully judge. Um, but the it half that I saw on nostalgia. Sorry. Okay. The half I saw kind of left me wondering, like, I don't know, I'm nervous about the second half. And Kevin, you saw the whole thing or Kind of. Kind I was in of. the room for the whole thing. That I, I saw the whole thing. All right, Joe, I, I saw enough to know I didn't like it. We need an educated hey. viewer who actually saw it. Joe, give us the dirt. No spoilers, please. Well, okay, yeah, no, just spoil no the spoilers. Whole thing. Um, no, just tell the whole thing. Don't spoil it. It starts with a, a man No, man give us Thomas the dirt. Anderson. Just it's give not good. Okay. Good, no, bad, good. why? Uh, okay, so it's a cash grab. It's a cash grab. <laughs> That's <laughs> the, the biggest non-spoiler I can, I can give you. Is that <laughs> it, it's definitely uh, a cash grab. One of them Wachowskis yeah. needed a needed to get a no, I, I get like a they, mortgage sorted I, out or something. I feel like they had a great. I don't think anybody who is affiliated with this franchise probably should need any money anymore. No, I feel like there was a grain of an idea that either the Wachowski. Uh, sister that directed it, or Lana, the studio voiced it. Yeah, L- Lana was the, the, but now they're both ladies, right? I know, but the like, I think his the, I think his sister is out, or her sister the, is yeah, out the other too. One's not yeah, the other one's not. She's uh, out of the game. Yeah. So I don't know how the the germ of the idea started that this needs to be a thing. Yeah. Um. It it didn't. Okay. But the way they reworked it was admirable yeah uh so it all made sense as to how they got to where there was a fourth matrix but at the same time you're like mm, there didn't need to be a fourth matrix did it feel like it was reachy or just rushed or pushed on you like i don't know it just felt like why are we doing this why oh like said, a cash grab cash grab it's the, it's the I mean, first it major like the, the cash third grab one, since that the, became funny to say. The third one ended pretty conclusively where, spoiler, they all die and uh, they all make their peace with the machines. And then now we're saying, here's, well, here's, here's what a dork I am. I, we started the end of Matrix uh, resolutions uh, just to just because I wanted to see that Smith fight with all the Smiths. Remember Carl? They're all lined up on the street and everybody's raining everywhere and they're doing some anime fly fighting and shit. Um, so we watched that before firing up the new one. But I feel like I, inter- I interrupted you, Joe. What were you going? What were you? What were you saying? Oh, well, to, to that point, um, the new Smith is not as good as that. Whoa! Smith. Spoilers. Didn't know Smith was in it. Damn it! Oh wait, no wait. I did because he's like. He does, he, it's yeah, not right. yeah it's he's a different right guy that. okay okay never mind never mind sorry new <sighs> smith new morpheus is not as good but i, I yeah, do well, like the clever right. way they explain that there's a new morpheus because he neo wrote them into the program the the game right that he was making mm-hmm. okay yeah. yeah he's a module that's right okay 
So that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool that there's... So a lot of the stuff that they do at the very beginning, like the first 30 minutes... It were like mirrors clever. the first Matrix, yeah. And, but they're also like taking shots at the studios. And that was like, okay, I, I get what you're doing here about yeah, reboots are stupid yeah. and annoying. But um, the rest of the movie, I don't feel like justified the shots that they were taking at those to to say that well, I got you. These these are not satisfactory enough to be living up to the same. I feel like if it, if they had exceeded the original trilogy in some way, it would have been worth the time to spend that time in the first thirty minutes. So that uh, was a lot of time wasted there. Um. Fight scenes weren't as good. I mean, I guess Keanu is probably like fifty something, and Carrie Ann Moss is probably also equally almost geriatric. The so. the the action stuff that I did see to me felt less groundbreaking than definitely the first Matrix, and in some points the uh, the sequels. But what I did see in this new one. It kind of felt to me like a little bit like, oh, yeah, this is another movie trying to do like Matrix style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fight fight sequences. And, and that's, that's the problem that it created for itself is like, how are you going to live into your own footsteps? It's like you really. Yeah. Because if you guys remember, like when the Matrix came out, was it 1999 or 98 mm -hmm. or something? Um, There was like five, six years of lots of leather lots of slow motion jumping around um everybody got real hip on um you know taekwondo choreography and shit like that so remember do you remember that like needs the bullet time it, like equalizer uh that vampire woman who wore all all leather uh there were just so many movies that came out that were like uh people like the matrix cash grab um all right that's Carl's number one, though. I like it. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's I can't just, wait uh, to watch it, the rest of it now, knowing that you were into it. It was it was Carl, the ride. It was the Carl, ride. How, how many other I movies did you watch in, in 2021, though, to, to balance that out against? Um, I watched quite a few movies. But that was... Okay. Yeah, it was the ride. Yeah. Um, okay. Going back. I didn't... I didn't have anything. I, I forgot that it was coming out, and Katie was like, "Oh, the Matrix, the new Matrix movie is up." Yeah, and then we, I just went in cold, and like, yeah, I, I liked what they were doing cool. for a while, and then at a certain point, I think it sucks for you that you know it sucks though, because you haven't I, finished it. Yeah, Carl, do you remember I when the I, or when we ride. worked at Carl? Remember when we worked it at the movie the theater? Rab. Remember when we worked at the movie theater, Star Cinemas? And uh, the Matrix Reloaded came out, the sequel. Yeah. Oh, dude, that was so fun. There was all the hype was in the air. Yeah. We watched it um, a few days before. Before it was released. That's right. Yeah. We used to do that with a lot of movies. And then I would sneak in. We worked there because Ben worked there. I would sneak into the theater during certain scenes and just sit down with my broom and my little sweeper. and Just be like, nope, I'm watching, watching the freeway scene. I'll be busy for the next 11 minutes. Good thing the management sucked at that theater. Brain wraps. Yeah, get a brain wrap. Um, my, I'll go. I'll go next. Uh, my movie of the year, and I, I probably should think more about this and look back because um, I saw a bunch of good ones this year. But uh, I got to go. Spider Man, No Way Home. Um, is, has anyone seen it? Have you guys seen I it? Seen it yet? Okay. Kevin, no. It's the new year, so it can't be a part of Kevin's it. a no, and Joe's a no? No, I went with you to see it. That's right. You were just Aww. seated in a different section. That's right. Um, yeah. Oh, pa. So, just real quick, and then we can, we'll can we move on. But um, this movie got me charged up and amped as an audience member. Well, first of all, I got to see it in the theater, which that helps. I think that's like another 5% of fun and enjoyment. But um, yeah, it was like the, the big moments and like the big reveals and some of the cooler like action sequences. It reminded me of watching um, Endgame and Infinity War. And so 
just mm-hmm. just those like scenes where whether you're alone watching it or in a big theater with a, a bunch of strangers watching it no matter what unless you're dead inside like you're cheering a little bit like you're gonna throw a fist in the air every once in a while watching this movie and say fuck yeah let's go and you're gonna get you're gonna get amped i mean at least that was my my take on it and yeah um yeah freaking loved it we we went through hell trying to watch it too me and brother jordan we went to see it on like opening opening as early as you could see at night i think it was wednesday or no it was it was a thursday night it bolted from trivia we went over to marcus crosswoods and had good seats and everything bought the tickets early enough in advance and then we start the trailers and I just noticed the dialogue and all the trailers sounds real tinny and broken and lower. And I'm like, and we look at each other and me and me and Jordan, we're like, yeah, it's probably just the trailers. We're probably okay. And then the movie gets started and the audio doesn't change. And then I, I'm like, it's, it's unacceptable. Like I think they had a blown center channel in their mix or something. And it was just one of those things where it was like, I'm so stoked for this movie. I, I don't, I can't, I don't think I can watch it like this. So him and I, and he agreed and, and, you know, so we, we left and we talked to the manager and shit. And as we were talking to the manager, getting our, uh, you know, vouchers for free movies and shit. Um, it was, uh, he was saying, yeah, you know, we had a guy in here yesterday work on it and we, and we've been getting a few complaints and, oh. stuff. and but it was like, I was blown away a that everyone in that theater, it was a packed theater. Everyone in there stayed and they all watched, yeah. they watched the movie like that. It was bad. It was like, if all the dialogue in the movie was walkie talkie dialogue, it was real bad. Ew. Yeah. And, um, so a, everyone that's, stayed that's in there and then B and, <laughs> well, and then B is like, dude, yeah, you guys should not, not run that theater. Like that's a, you, you I can't believe, you know, you, they said they had a, technician look at it the day before so that means how many showings of, of have they gone through matinees all through the day it's like oh shut it down yeah. uh so that was a bummer and then so then we came back it was like the following sunday and uh who was it me zane joe jordan it was a romp mm-hmm. the only thing i was pissed about was you guys didn't want to have a beer afterwards and break it down they could probably um do something with it like if that speaker's sounds that shitty. Just turn it off until someone fixes it and like split the audio or something. You might not have noticed if they did that. Technology. Yeah. I yeah. think what it is compared to when we were working at movie theaters is it's so much more digital now that like they literally push a button on a little jump drive that comes in an envelope yeah. and that's the movie. And you know, it's not so much like they, I, I doubt they even have like much of an audio mixer up there to even do that. You know, Cause I, I kept yeah. thinking of ways to fix it as I was sitting there and being tortured, trying to hear the dialogue. And I was just thinking about how modern theaters are right now. And yeah, I don't know. We got free tickets to see a movie after um, life. Do you remember this? Um, the last 20 minutes, like literally the last section of the, of the movie was all just blacked out. And we were like, Oh, this is part of the movie. Cause it, it did kind of make sense to where we, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Did, did we see that at Gateway? No, we saw that at Marcus. Okay. Yeah, they need to get their but shit then, together over there. Yeah, yeah. They gave us all free passes for a new movie. Um, because we're like, yeah, can you rewind? And so they did rewind it as well. But Yeah, listen, if you're ever watching a movie, folks, and it's not perfect or there's anything noticeable that like fucks your movie situation up, even if you watch the whole thing, you go out there and you ask for a manager, Karen up, get some passes. I'm saying, you know, you drove to the movie Man theater. Passes. It's a dying God, industry man. right now. They got to at least People make sure they're what? What's this car? I said, you don't have to Karen up. You could be polite about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's hey, yeah, you're right. You're right. I didn't mean that. This doesn't sound good. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go spit on their shoes or whatever and yeah, scream yeah. and call the police or whatever. Thank you I'm not wearing a mask. Your like fucking movie being. sucks. Yeah. You're being racist to me, <laughs> or something like make it a race thing somehow. Yeah, no, don't do that. But um, they have a giant pad of those goddamn, you know, customers always write vouchers, and 
uh, they probably like movies a little bit if they work there and they can under, I think, I mean, they've only been reasonable anytime I've had an issue in movie theaters. It's always been like, well, Hey, let me give you a couple passes. Cause that sucks. And, uh, you know, good luck with the popcorn kid or the person scanning your ticket. But, um, every once in a while, there's a voice of reason at the Marcus. Um, who else, who, who else has a, Oh, go see Spider-Man. Holy shit. Carl. Yeah, I'm just waiting for it to, it's going to be on the TV soon. Okay. I don't want to get coughed on by some. Hey man, I'm still negative. I've, I've seen a few movies, man. Go to, here's what you do. Here's what you do. You go at like noon or one someday that you can pull it off. I was thinking about that. And then get your tickets in advance and you won't have anyone in the theater with you. Kevin wants to go see the new Scream. I would go watch that with you guys. I forgot that was happening. Yeah. When when does that actually come out? I think in the next few weeks. Okay. What's. Yeah, I want to see it early and maybe even twice. See how it goes. Wow. What's uh what's Joe or Kevin's top movie 2021? Um, I think mine was probably nobody. Uh we've had mm. you know That's a good discussions one. about uh the card counter, and I think that is sort of in the neighborhood, but nobody was just like way more solid all the way through, better for what it was. Um but yeah, it you know, some of the best action I've experienced anyway. Nice in, in a movie. Um, and funny moments and like Bob Odenkirk and I love Bob, uh, yeah, Bobby Odenkirk some real explicit violence uh, like just hard hard action it's good. that was definitely an awesome movie and I, I actually forgot that I saw that in the year of a lord 2021 but that probably would have been in my considerations for sure I was a little softer on that one I thought it was more of like a five out of ten six out of ten the, i thought they uh, went get it get out of town i wanted them i wanted them to play it with the serious tone that they kind of started the movie with and then towards the end it devolves into like almost slapstick action where there's like fucking rocket launchers and just people are hitting grenades out of the air with baseball bats and shit i'm like all right yeah i don't know it's it's just it's alternate universe it's my opinion uh, i respect yours violence yeah but i uh you're your opinion is terrible, John. It's my opinion. You're the worst. It's not terrible. It's just it's, wrong. It's no. It's, it's wrong. It's this time. That's fine. It's in my opinion. I liked what I saw of it, but I was like working on a um, a final for school while it was on the TV near me. Yeah. So I only got bits and pieces. It is worth watching, and, and I'll probably watch better, it again. Better watch than that. Yeah. 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 I didn't yeah. dislike yeah. it. I just okay. didn't. I don't want to blow it like Kevin does. Still worth a view, is what I'm saying. Where are we at, Joe? What was your movie, buddy? Okay, so I was I was trying to double check my work, and you know we we got this all whole thing whole podcast together pretty quickly, so I I didn't have a, a chance to review to make sure this was correct or anything, but um, I think I'm gonna say Psycho Gorman was my top 10 movie of yeah the year. that's a strong argument right there totally good yeah like, it, it, solid it movie it, is. it doesn't make any arguments it's just it's great all around it's more than what it is okay it's so it, that it's a good movie <laughs> it, it is a 2020 movie i think is it just okay. according yeah according to google first yeah if it was a late 2020 i think we should still count it yeah, but still worth talking about. Totally. I, yeah, I, I love that movie. The film is titled Psycho Gorman, folks. It's a low-budget fantasy monster movie, action movie. It must be watched. Okay. I guess I, I have the, a backup if that's not accepted then. I have two backups. Okay. The, the last podcast guy said that uh, Psycho Gorman is like if, if Troma made the Power Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. And it was good. So, yeah, I, I just, yeah, I like that description. It's pretty Sorry. good. So, wait, was it 2020 or 2021? It, I mean, it, I only Googled it once. It said 2020. No. Okay. Well, not then I've got two backups. On that. I've got uh, Last Night in Soho. Okay. Not seen. Haven't seen it. Fun action romp with um, actresses that I've not heard of, but directed by the Baby Driver guy. Uh, Edgar Wright. 
Uh, that's great. And then uh, Pig, starring Nick Cage. Oh, I gotta oh, see okay. that one still. Yeah. Um, give me back my pig. Yeah, it's like a an. It's not over the top. You, you you're kind of going in expecting him to kill everybody in the room to get back his pig, and it, it's not the case there at all. So there you go. It's an understated Nick Cage. So uh, Psycho Gorman was released in January of 2021. So okay. Oh. Okay. Then I stand by my original. It has a it has a 2020 on IMDb, but on the on the release, but it was just the beginning of 2021. But I, yeah, I'm so changing my uh, I'm changing my pick. All right, Carl's changing his pick. He said he wanted eight to bit. think about it. Christmas. Oh, you're going eight bit. Okay, and that, and that's so that it can be my recommendation. Okay. So, wait, why are you changing it to eight bit Christmas? That was my favorite. Oh, okay. Of the year. that's a solid one too i like that one as well all right uh, and I, yeah i just wanted to add a little bit to it too like it if you if you enjoy um a christmas story um like the original not the stupid sequel yeah um it does a much better job of like it, it almost feels like a spiritual successor to a christmas story in a way um yeah it's i like it nintendo yeah, it's about him in the '80s getting his NES for Christmas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or trying to. It, yeah. Awesome. It manages to invoke the same feelings, um, while also there are some nods to that film. You know, there's it's great. All right, so this this is time. It's now time for our uh, our uh, trivia portion of the podcast, and it's based on top grossing films of 2021. It's a trivia game. <laughs> Trivia! All right, here we go. Are you ready? This is a shout out your answer type trivia competition. I will read a question. Whoever says the answer first will get yeah. the point. We, there will Tell be Joe five be questions. Oh, yeah. Joe Tell, B. Sporting. Yeah. Joe to be sporting about the way that he, uh, yeah. the, the way that he plays shouted out games. Yeah, don't just rattle through a list as soon as I yes. start, start speaking. All right, don't be a dick about it. You, Joe, deal? Joe, can we confirm? Yeah, he's muted. (laughs) All right, well, if he's muted, then this will be good for you guys. All right, here's your first question. Top grossing films, 2021. What was the top grossing movie released in 2021? I should have been thinking about it this whole time. Mm. Spider-Man No Way Home. Carl gets the point. All right. Wait, was this a game? We're playing. Oh, uh, no, I stepped away. No, I, I was hearing some fireworks. <laughs> yeah. Do you think they were... He's watching a fireworks show. Are. He's out there watching the fireworks with his neighbor right, sleeping on his over, back that, porch. That question, that, that, that question doesn't count. Start over. That question counts. Think, yeah, it counts. All right. Um, here's your next question. Uh, the game started. We thought you were here. Raking in over a... Hu- muted. <laughs> Wait for the bell. Right here. Early bird gets the worm, buddy. Here we go. Um, raking in over 173 million. That's domestic. In 2021, was what movie directed by Justin Lin? No takers. Here's a hint. I believe it was are, are we the. Allowed to guess as many. Times? Yes, we are, we are shouting it out. Use some. You know, use use a little bit of discretion. Be right. sporting about it. We wanted you. We told well, you to we know be. It's not Spider Man No Way From Home. This is true. And that's not the title, but yes, that would be that would have been incorrect. So I do, I should get the points because he doesn't even know the name of the film, Go so ahead. he wouldn't have. Been... <laughs> no way from home. Anyways, he just um, blew it. Just, no way home. There just we go. Justin Lin directed this movie. No one. Uh, Fast Nine. Fast Nine is correct. Good job, Joe. Hey, good uh, job. Oh, that came out this year. Holy shit. It it was That's like the year. second highest grossing movie of the year, too. It's oh. kind of disgusting. All right, here we go. Venom, Let There Be Carnage was the third top grossing movie in 2021. What uh, is the current Rotten Tomatoes score for this movie? So just write a number down. This one is not shouted out. We'll just do whoever guesses closest. So uh, come up with your number and whoever is closest. Yeah, this is critics. 
review. Okay. Yeah, critics we're, score. We're doing critics, not audience. Just said it. Yeah, critics. Okay. <laughs> have you have you guys seen this? You guys heard about this? I watched it. Uh uh-uh. Seen like the trailer. Okay. All right. Um. Go ahead, Carl. Forty six percent. Carl says forty six. Joe. And you got to go with what you wrote down. You can't modify your answer. You're right. I I said 33. 33. And Uncle Kevin. It's at 65. 65. It is currently sitting by way of the critics of the shit website that is Rotten Tomatoes at a 58% right now. So Wow. Who is that? Carl? Or Kevin? That's me. Yeah, Yeah, Kevin gets it because Ah. of math. All right. We got got a three-way tie here, boys. Next question. Uh, Quiet Place Part 2 did well in 2021. What are the noise-sensitive creatures in the film referred to as? I have two possible answers you could shout out. Graboids. Reapers. Reapers. Um, Reamers. uh, What'd you say, Kevin? Reapers and griefers? No. Okay. Scrub. Creamers. And steamers. It doesn't have to sound like those things. I, I think, thought you were like on the right track. Yeah, that's like why I asked you to repeat it. I think that's his hint oh. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, re- reapers. <laughs> Did you say kitchens, Carl? Chinchins. Chin Chinchins. Um, no, you're all wrong. Uh, I guess the the fancy one is death angels. But that then, sound like anything like what Kevin said. But then in the movie, uh, the other answer you could have said is the creatures, just oh, just straight okay. up. No, yeah, you're kind of on the right track. Yeah, Fuck this creepers. Game. <laughs> Joe's Fuck hey, we, we only got said creatures at some point. We only got one more question. All right, and uh, this Did that come out in 2021. This will decide what. Did, what are we even playing for right now? Did we finish the other game? Or, this is for fun, man. It's a pot. What, why are you trying to derail the game? Let's just play the game. I want to know what the stakes are. <laughs> All right. Um, here's your final question, and it will have the a, a, a correct, you know, person. So this will be for the win. You, we have a three way tie between Kevin, Joe, and Carl. The question is: No time to die earned 160 million domestically this year, or I should say, last year now. Uh, how many 007 movies does that make? Total 007 26. movies. You, we're just go ahead and write your answer down like we've been doing for, for all the rest of them. Oh, and now you've helped your opponents by screaming your answer out like some sort of child. Because well, okay. now they know what you're putting your answer as. We've been playing well, this maybe game. Maybe I'll change it. <laughs> maybe I'll change it. All right. Everyone's written an answer down. You want me to go first on this one? I don't care. I'll, I'll go first. I'm going to stick with, I, I think it's 26. Okay. Carl also said 26. Kevin? 26. Uh, so, yeah, actually, I thought he said 30. So I, I, I said 36. I was trying to. Oh, no. boy. Fucked up. Yeah. That's, was, what I, that's what I wrote down. The answer so. is 25. Uh, hmm. So now we have a tie between Kevin. Hi, right, Kevin. Or no. Wait, what? No, it's Joe and Carl. Carl. Yeah. All right. So, I, um, Kevin, I also, I, I was more sure that he said twenty six percent, but I doubted. I doubted that. I, th- I thought he might have said thirty six percent. So. All right. Yeah. So, so for your final question, so do you want to concede to me, Carl, right now, for your <laughs> your your disconceit, your your malfeasance, your liardom? Okay, so we gotta we gotta break a tie here, Joe. Are you ready to break a tie, Carl? Are you ready? I'm ready to break some fucking hymens, baby. Let's go. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Um, Should be another write down numbers. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, so okay, let's can I, can let's I ghost my way back into this. Can I? I sure, keep, you can play with these guys. Yeah, I think we'll do a re tiebreaker since Joe's been we'll such see a baby. How it goes. Yeah. yeah. All right, so here we go. Um, so I mentioned that Spider-Man No Way Home was the top grossing movie in 2021, uh, released December 17th. It had um, domestic box office gross. Jesus Christ, this is just domestic. This movie's going to make a billion dollars. Anyways, um, 
$572 million is the uh, the gross domestic for Spider-Man No Way Home. Second um, highest returns in 2021 was Shang-Chi in The Legend of the Ten Rings. Tell me gross domestic. I can't talk. Gross domestic. How much did that thing make as of today? So I, I gave you the Spider-Man numbers. This is box office, not not Disney Channel Plus. Yeah, that's not factored into this. Yeah. Okay. All right. Box office, domestic, gross. Uh, it ran at 4,300 theaters. Release What's date. What's the name of that one? This is uh, the other Marvel movie. Um, Shang-Chi. 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 Sh- Shang-Chi, The Legend of the Ten Rings, which I saw and I thought it was just fine. Didn't really didn't hit the same way Spider-Man did, in my opinion. Was definitely well, better. It was better than I, I Venom, Let it. There Be Carnage. I'll say that much. It was better than that. Yeah. I got a number. <laughs> All right. Joe's got a number. Carl, you got a number. Kev, you good? Well, Kevin has lost already. Yep. Why, why is he giving a number? Uh, I, get, I get to ghost my way back into it. He's back in, and that's, it was for the reasoning that you have been such a baby during this entire um, trivia portion of the podcast. We'll just see how it goes. If I do better than you guys on, on all the other games, then I'm going to win. I'm just going to ghost my way into it. Don't be such a baby, and then we won't change the rules. <laughs> Mario Kart rules. <laughs> all right. Let's hear it. Do we got those numbers? Two hundred thirty-three million. Okay, Carl went two thirty-three. I went lower than that. I went one sixty-nine. Okay, right. said two twenty. Okay, correct answer is two twenty-four million. Hey, wow. come on, Kevin. My Kevin, way back Kevin wins his whole the Too whole game. You're dead already. You can't win anything at this point. Kevin, you will receive a fruit basket from our sponsors. Beat you, what Joe. is this? Yeah, what is this? Remember, you guys remember that, Joe? I beat you. Uh, you're going to get the sweet and savory package has a value of $80 and it's going to come with a, a bunch of different nuts, chocolates, dark chocolates. Uh, is there some butterscotches? I know you're a big fan of those. Those will be included. So good job, Kevin. Bad job, Joe. This is fucking bullshit. Good game, Joe. <laughs> good game, though. Good game all around. Really close game. I don't know why Kevin it's still, was it's still tied though, right? This third round. No, I just I got it. I did so well on that last play. I just get to be alive again, and then we do a one last but why? tiebreaker. But why? <laughs> what, what's the point? What's the no. point of you? You threw no, such a fit, point, man. What is the point of you? <laughs> Kevin listened really well play? during the rules section of the game. He he was direct with his answers. You're all over the place. You're here. You're there. I don't know. How do I keep track of Gazero? What's he doing? Come on. Very professional. 